Good morning, New York. Good afternoon, Tel Aviv. This is Trending. I'm Emily Francis. We have a great show lined up for you today. Coming up in this hour, merging Kabbalah with Global Spirituality. Founder and spiritual director of the Kabbalah Center Worldwide, Karen Berg, joins us live and Breath of Life, a healing modality from Asia that heals the body and mind and soul. And Guns N' Roses gave Israeli fans a performance for the record books. Welcome to the show. Today we are joined by two amazing guests that I'm personally so thrilled to have on the show today. Karen Berg is the spiritual director of the Kabbalah Center Worldwide and built the center with her late husband, Rob Berg, 40 years ago. And Sarah Yardeni is a longtime Kabbalah instructor based in New York and they're here to talk about passion projects that are literally uniting people around the globe. Welcome to the show. This is such a thrill. I'm like... I'm schmitzing. I'm schmitzing over this. Thank you, Thank so, you. okay, so I've been studying 10 years with the center, but this passion project of yours, to take it beyond what you've built and was such a major part of your life before your husband passed, and now to make it global, why is this the time for global spirituality? Well, first of all, if anybody sees anything about what's happening in the world, People are becoming more and more involved in spiritual teachings. The world is becoming more open. Uh, you even see gay rights. Anything that, that you want to happen today, we're breaking boundaries. Mm -hmm. And the reason for the breaking of the boundaries is simply to unite together into one spiritual root. I believe that the only way to do that is by allowing the different spiritual entities to join together, not to change who they are, but to allow the human dignity to work together, to be together as one, if we can bind those, those people, those groups together into one front, then we can awaken. That's the whole idea. I think the idea of Messiah is the joining of different spiritual groups because for too long, our world has been controlled basically by religious groups. Which you know, creates separateness. Which creates separateness. And spirituality is the one true thing in this world that can put people together. And so, if we were to take whatever uh, ritual that you choose, any, it doesn't matter what it is, but that there is something that binds you to your soul, then that is perfect. And each one of us should have the right to our own way of being, but with the ability to share with other groups in different modalities for the same purpose. Right. Light is one and truth is one. Right. But do you think also part of the reason that we could, I mean, the fact that you brought the Zohar to so many millions of people, like no one even knew about it, what the Zohar was 40 years ago. Nobody knew Kabbalah existed. We were the first ones ever to teach or people would know that such a ancient study existed for people. Which is un amazing to me because I've now studied a lot of the wisdom and through like the Inquisition. I mean, they were all Kabbalists in Spain before the Inquisition. It's just, it's so uh, unfortunate that it had to be concealed for so long, but this is the time it's being revealed because we're now in the time of Aquarius, which the Zohar predicted thousands you of years ago. You've answered your own question. That's right. Things happen when they happen. In other words, you can't open a cosmic door if the door isn't ready to be opened. Today, because I believe that we're on a tipping point in the world, mm -hmm. how do I know? Look at the, look at the negativity that's out there. It means that everything is in polarity. It means that today is the time that we can join those forces together. And for many, many years, I thought that the teachings of the center were wonderful, productive, we've changed millions of lives. But it was a lot my of own. I, I made Ali out of Israel. But it was a lot of head work. <laughs> right, that's true. And then I said, well, we got to put it together with heart work, mm -hmm. body work. Bring it down so that I can feel. And, and this is where Sarah comes in because part of that body work is really tapping into Eastern Asian ritual. So this is kind of, you just had an aha moment. Yes. And uh, well, yes, I did. But we also have brought in shamans from different parts of right. the world and different teachings that would allow us to show that, that spirituality <coughs> is a oneness, is right. a unity. I want to show a clip of you because we have a beautiful uh, reel of information. Thank so let's you. look at a clip. Thank you. There is a thing called global spirituality. They took the teachings of Kabbalah to the world and into our modern life. See, I know that I'm a messenger. All I am is a messenger. If this one person can do so much, why can't I or why can't somebody else do it? We can change this world into a place of harmony. 
How did you realize that Sarah was... Uh was the person to take charge now of Breath of Life, which I know is bringing capitalistic wisdom together with East Asian healing modalities. I find that Sarah has a very beautiful feminine and gentle energy. And she vibrates on that level of, of, of uh, heart. And uh, I, I, I thought that she'd be the perfect person. As a matter of fact, when I said it, I said, Sarah, you know, I think we have to bring uh, head and heart together. And I think we should call it because it, it was something. I, why, I don't know. <laughs> but someone said, I think you should call it breath of life because within the breath it is the life force. And I think you'd be the perfect one to, to teach and it to Sarah me. Sarah <laughs> is glowing. So, okay, you're my teacher. I love you. <laughs> Um, okay, so this so this started with body and brain. You were doing your own your own journey through doing master classes and learning from great gurus. Other people that have dedicated their life to changing the world through energy work and um, yeah. So and then Karen came and just and you just were like yes. Was, actually, I wasn't just like yes because I really didn't know at the time how to make that connection, how to mm -hmm. make the two connect to create one flow mm -hmm. as one experience. Because as Karen said, when we learn Kabbalah, we learn from a book, and then from the book you go into your body and you go into your inner realm and energy. So uh, it took some time of studies to see how th the two can become one right. for the participants. Well, also as we learn through Kabbalah, is like you know, it's one thing to do spiritual work, but we're still three-dimensional beings living in the the one percent world so where how much does the body store emotions oh my god it's it's it, there, there's a constant conversation between the mind and the body and right. even when we think that we don't tell anybody or uh, it's inside of us uh, who gets it it's it's in the cells of the body every there's an imprint of every emotion and every thought in the body not only from this lifetime so um, you need to make so we making that link and so body and brain is what the, the modality is called what is so unique and special from from your learning this practice well for me it was like the key to freedom because I'm a very emotional person and when I started when I felt something I became that feeling and for me to know that I could actually separate myself from the feeling and watch the feeling and not party with the feeling not marry the feeling right. and come from a different space which is my true essence uh, to choose how to respond to every situation that gave me the key to freedom at the same time it wasn't just about ignoring what I felt or suppressing what I felt but it was the acceptance of the feeling and knowing how to release it right so you were your own success story as was I last night when you came over to my house and did it so we're gonna come back with Sarah because she's gonna do the whole experience with me which I had a sneak peek last night and I definitely am a testimonial for how it works because I was like flying I was flying last night thank you both so much it's thank such you. an honor to have you thank here you in Jaffa much. home of Jonah and the whale <laughs> thank you thank, thank you thank you, thank thank you. Thank I love you guys I love thank you guys you. <laughs> we love you.